I didn't love myself for so many years and I'm taking control over my life and I want especially Latinas to know that this is your life and you have control over it. Designer Ashley Nell Tipton won Project Runway back in 2015 and signed a contract with retail giant JCPenney to design and be the face of their plus size boutique. One would have thought she had it all, but Ashley wasn't entirely happy. Finally had everything. But I felt deep down inside, I felt empty. I felt numb. I felt depressed. I felt sad. I felt alone. I felt all these emotions and I didn't understand how to fix it. But it all came down to my mental health and my health in general, my physical health. And where I decided that I really wanted to change these habits that I've created in my life. So what did you do? I decided to go to therapy and be, work on those feelings that I was having and these thoughts about myself and how do I become healthy. Ashley got a personal trainer, had gastric bypass surgery to help with previously undiagnosed metabolic issues, and even took a small break from designing. Once I let go of of those things that I allowed my head to consume of 24-7, I had so much more space in my mind to consume of other things like creating. Just this past year, the Mexican-American fashionista started her own self-love program on YouTube called The Love You Show. The Love You Show is all about the fundamentals of self-love, self-care, and self-acceptance. We I'm live in this it. world of social media, and it all ties into identity and who we are. And everybody is so fixated about how they present themselves. So that we decided to film this show and talk about these steps and help people love themselves. And... I never thought that what I did or what I cared about or what I was passionate about would be so important to others until I heard how inspiring I was to people. One of those people is travel entrepreneur Alma Lopez Tillman. Actually inspired me because, you know, she doesn't give a hoot. She goes ahead and forges with what she needs to do and she's successful at it too which is even more inspiring. I'm sure when I was her age, I probably didn't even know what I, where I wanted to be, what I wanted to do, but she's, she's focused. Alma is just as focused. The Mexicana is the founder and CEO of Alma Explores, which looks to inspire women of color to travel regardless of their body type. Being a plus size woman, you feel like, you know, you can't do certain things because maybe you don't want to be in a bathing suit because you're at the beach or, you know, none of that stuff, like at the end of the day should matter. Like you should just really worry about yourself and don't let what you look like uh, impede like where you want to go or what you want to do. A couple of years ago, I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. I also just took scuba diving lessons last week, which is something that I had always wanted to do. You shouldn't let your body size dictate whether you're going to go on a trip or you're going to go on a hike because, um, you know, you feel a certain way. So when did you stop feeling a certain way? Well, I've always struggled with weight. I mean, I've always struggled. I mean, I feel like everybody has a, they say everybody has a struggle we don't know about, but it's hard when your struggle is food because everybody knows about it. You're wearing your struggle on the outside. So you're always afraid of being judged. I've come to a point in my life now where I am definitely better about my choices and I'm active and I am diabetic type two, which has to do with lifestyle. But one of the things that I noticed is when I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, I was training for it for like a year. And in the process of training, my sugar literally like dropped to almost zero diabetes. So I feel like travel has really helped me like keeping active and doing these things while I'm traveling. I think the key is activity. So whether it's traveling and being active or designing while loving yourself, these Latinas are blazing an inspirational path of self-esteem for other Latinas to follow. I feel like as I've gotten older, I definitely have you know, started to feel more comfortable with the person that I am and the person that I wanna be. And I'm 
slowly but surely getting to a point where I really do not care about what other people think besides my mother and my husband. And that's it. <laughs>